guys, Amanda Sellers here from The Sellers Dozen. We are doing something really exciting that I've been dying to do for years and we're finally getting a chance to do it. We are gonna do a full-blown large family, all 12 of us, family photo shoot. I'm so excited. We have a photography company not far from here. We have to do a little bit of traveling to get there. We are using this family photo sh shoot for multi-purpose to update our socials, to be able to pitch to brands, and to make a media kit, and of course, just for us to have some beautiful photos of our family. So that is what we're gonna be doing. Since I've never actually done this before, I thought I'd film the whole thing, take you guys along. I've got a few days until the actual photo shoot. The problem is, I think we're supposed to get some snow in the next few days. So I'm a bit concerned that we actually might get entirely snowed out. Um, we'll have to see. I'm not set on our outfit choices. I don't have all of our clothes. I have to find cohesive outfit choices. So there's a chance I might go shopping and not even be able to find what we need. I think it'll turn out no matter what, cause regardless, we've got some cute kids. So we'll see. And hopefully I'll even get a chance to add some of the photos, the finished photos at the end of this. So stick around to see those, to see what the photo shoot is like. I'm hoping it goes well. I don't know what 10 kids in a studio is gonna be like. So we're hoping it's kid friendly. We're hoping it all goes well and that nobody breaks anything. <laughs> anyway, you guys come hang out with us. I'm going through all of the, the girls' clothes. We have them in baskets here. I just pulled them all out and just grabbed everything that looked a little bit a little bit denim, a little bit earthy. So I'm gonna show you what I have pulled out for the girls. The idea is to find everything possible that we could wear that we already own. And then um, fill in whatever's left. Um, so let me turn you on. So I have a denim pile. I wanna have pieces of denim and pieces of different like white. I love this little blouse, it's so cute. Um, and then I grabbed earthy. We're gonna start there with them. I'm gonna move on to the boys room and then um, the downstairs boys as well. It's already been an all morning project. Hopefully we can get as many pieces as we need. I should make a list. And then we're gonna go shopping. So it's nearly four and that's, we still have to go shopping tonight. So that's the plan. Okay, I think we're finally about settled. I know it's a gigantic mess, um, but this is my process. So um, I'm working all the way across I haven't decided on Julian's. I have a couple different options for Julian. So Julian's there. We got some earthy tones, some greens, some blues, and piece for denim. And I think I wanna look for maybe a white shirt for him. Pile of t-shirts, I'm not sure what I'm doing with yet. The dress for Emma, um, and then I'm gonna get her something earthy. Um, by earthy, I just mean like, yeah, earthy tones, like these like, I know I, I know you see a lot of blue, but I mean like this green, this yellow, this brown, these earthy tones. Okay, shopping has to get done. That means that we are um, hitting a bunch of stores. I'm gonna hit some secondhand stores first um, because we want this to be beautiful and like a perfect memory forever, but we also don't wanna break the bank. So um, secondhand stores first, and then we're looking for some really specific pieces that may or may not get worn ever again hopefully but you know the goal is to be cohesive and not to break the bank so um yeah after that i have a couple like target tj maxx situation that i plan to go look through um and i'm just literally going to be skimming the the um bracks looking for very specific colors and like color patterns if that goes well i'm assuming it'll be really late by the time we get back with that tonight I, if we have time we'll do a try on tonight that way i'll know what we need for tomorrow so um yeah i'm gonna get that done and i will actually see you guys quite later after that's all done okay so it's the next day we're trying on all of the pieces that we found and i'm really starting to feel like this look is coming together i'm so excited i'm trying on one of my husband's shirts in this and i feel like i have a vision for what i want my shirt to look like my top here um but we are still missing a few pieces for me and a few pieces for the kids so let's head back to the store and um grab those last few pieces
So we ended up going to the store and I completely changed my outfit. I had brown bottoms, like a darker brown than even this, and was looking for an earthy colored top. Hi, Miss Man. Hi. Be careful. Um, so Chris's outfit, he has khaki pants and a very nice white shirt, and then this lovely sage green um, top. So since we're doing earthy tones, I have this for hours. Mine has, um, what do I have for mine? Oh, I have denim pants. He's gonna wear denim also. Those are in the wash. So the kids also got all these beautiful earthy tones. I don't know if you can see. I just have them back to just kind of separate. This is Emma's, yes. She's got kind of a light pink under leggings for it. More of that sage. And then we went with a deeper green. Come looking, it's looking gray, but it's it's like this color, but deeper. Um, and then we went a couple different variations of like a lighter version of it. Um, and this one's Julian's. One of my very best friends gave me this. So um, we pulled from everything we already had. Excuse me for a second, okay. Um, and so here we have a little more of the sage green. Oh, these are pants. These are so cute. I actually found these at a, at a secondhand store. They're so cute. They're like kind of like a businessy. <laughs> um, they got this top. I'm getting my graces for a second. And they're just these real thin, beautiful, almost like little businesswoman pants. I love them, they're so cute. And she has a similar color shirt as Emma's dress, except hers have hearts hearts and butterflies all over them, or flowers, flowers and butterflies. So, um, just kind of a cool kid top with this like business casual situation. I love it, it's so cute. And so Mia's is a little bit deeper. She's got this cute, cute skirt. And I plan to wash and iron everything. Oh yeah, look how rich they look. Yeah, so we have a couple blues in there, but mostly we got like sage and beige and um, that fun pink color, so. That is the two outfit choices. And then I'm thinking that Chris and I are actually going to, since we're gonna take a couple on our own, I think we're actually gonna do these like, um, since our white tops are supposed to go with our denim, I think we're going to do a little bit more like professional look with our colored pants. So like Chris with his, with his khakis and his top, which looks so sharp on him. And then I haven't tried my sage colored pants on. They're like a deeper green than his sage here. Um, but yeah, I think it'll look good together. And so I'm gonna try that with my like my white top. And so then that way we actually technically have three looks with the same outfits, um, but everything's cohesive. So I am also going to do mine and the girls fingernails and toenails just like a like super um, nude pink color and then it is snowing snowing so I'm betting that we're going to actually end up um, rescheduling our shoot for tomorrow but that's okay because I still got to get all of this done and if we have some extra time I'll just clean the house because the house is a wreck here's one of my clips I found these perfect claw clips that are the colors of the color scheme. So like this one here is this, we have more sage colors and more of these pink colors. So one little floor, I'm gonna put it over here so we don't lose it. So um, the girls and I are gonna curl our hair and then we will probably throw it up in a clip for like a different look for some of them or do a half up, half down. Um, but the claw clips makes it super versatile and we won't hopefully mess up our hair. So yeah, I think that's about it. Other than that, I kind of want to go through everyone's hair style look to see what we're kind of landing on and have an idea of what we want to do. And then I'm just going to have everyone shower and like chill for the afternoon. Um, and if we go tomorrow, we go. If not, that's okay too. 
I think I just about ended up with two full outfits for each person. So we're talking about 24, about 30 clothing items that I need to get all steamed. I don't have an iron anymore. And um, then I guess hung up. I'm not sure how exactly I want to do that. I have a couple clothing bags, but I'm not sure. Anyway, lots to figure out. So that, that makes it a little easier when I know there's a chance we're not gonna go tomorrow. So, um, okay. I think next we're gonna work on nails. everything in a travel suitcase so it's ready to go most of our tops and pans are over here and then all the ones that got ironed are over here and we're gonna hang them try to keep them as nice and neat as possible and it's so late and now we're getting sleepy all we need is the clear roads it is after 10 o'clock half the kids are in bed already I'm so tired but I need to shower myself and baby man took a nap like 8.30 or something like that. So like a big solid nap for a couple hours. So he will be up probably till nearly midnight. Oh, so I guess he'll just be my little buddy because we're gonna, um, we're gonna finish up stuff. Chris is moving pants over to the dryer. Chris shoveled the driveway. Um, update of snow. We're up to like four inches of snow. But... I'm thinking that they'll have the roads cleared by the morning, so that's the plan. If all else fails, we'll just, we'll just reschedule, it'll be fine. Um, but all of the middles are showered, and I did their hair, and I have the girls' hair done in those fun little, like, octopus thingies. So, um, I think that's how I'm going to do my hair as well. And we're just going to hope it hope it works out in the morning. And I can take a like straightener with us so I can like fix some curls or something if I need to. I need to take I have like yeah. I have like very little bandwidth left, you know, because it's late. So I'm gonna have to double check everything in the morning, but I need to I think most importantly, I need to figure out breakfast and lunch for tomorrow. Hi! You ready to go, 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 huh? Him and I are going to take a bath tonight. No, you can't do it. Say hi! Say hi! Hi! Love you, Ella. You're supposed to be in bed, baby. I'm going on the road. Okay, as you can see, it very much snowed. We almost said, we almost called it, but. It was close, it was really close. We couldn't wait till next week and the roads are totally fine. So I put all my faith in Chris, who is an amazing driver. Um, funny story, the only time I ever drove on snow was because Chris taught me like as an adult in his, his big old truck back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Yeah, so we're on our way. I think we have everything. We have all the kids. That's the important part. Right? Cute me as here. Yay! I got my cereal. I got. <laughs> they said, I got my cereal. We got a snack for the road. We're about 20 minutes late. Our water. That's where we get our spring. Our spring water is right there. It's. I wonder if it's frozen. It wasn't. It wasn't? I was watching it. That's crazy. Well, I guess groundwater is. Yeah. That's fun. Um, anything else? Let me think. We rushed around this morning because we um, couldn't figure out if the roads were going to be clear or not. And then, like, last second, um, the grader came through and all that kind of stuff. I think our road sounded like our road was the worst of the others. And these are totally clear. So, that's it. We're on our way. <laughs> We all have 
um, just jammies on, like just sweats and oh, somebody wrecked. Did you see? Not it. My gosh, they were oh, man. totally yeah, they... backwards, spun around. Yep. Um, well, and covered in snow because the snowplow came after they did. So. Wow. Okay. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Um. Anyway, we've been praying over the roads all morning, and it's all clear so far. So. Uh, that's that. We'll catch you guys when we get there. And then we're gonna be so fast. Everybody start their smiles. Julian, hey, Julian. All right, everybody start smiling. We did it. We did the photo shoot. Got it yeah. done. It was so much fun. 
All the kids did amazing. McDonald's. We went to McDonald's. <laughs> highlights. The highlights, yeah. Babies are napping because they're exhausted. Uh, this was so much fun and I cannot wait to see what they turn out looking like because it, um, she gave us like just a little where you click through the camera. So cute, so cute. I want to shout out to the Mullins Photo Company in Lynchburg, Virginia. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sarah Mullins did amazing. Adam Mullins was there. And they, the whole, the whole uh, studio was kid friendly and so, um, so much fun. Just, it was such, such a lighthearted and um, beautiful environment. So Mia says they were so friendly. So thank you guys so much for tagging along and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.